before Jonas I was still younger. From my family, I lost six my brother, and then I lost all this family. The most devastating circumstances can yield the most powerful forms of hope. During the 94 Rwandan genocide, itself a result of colonial meddling to create, to segregate the population into ethnic and class groups, ultimately creating tension, an average of one Rwandan was killed every 10 seconds for 100 days. For Rwandans trying to escape the Holocaust, a bicycle was worth its weight in gold because for a nation with almost no cars, a bicycle wasn't just a convenience, it was salvation. To Rwanda, cycling isn't just a sport, it's a symbol of hope. Rising from Ashes follows Rwanda's national cycling team, Team Rwanda, and Jack Boyer, the flawed but determined coach, guide, and father figure to these athletes, men from broken families determined as much to heal their battered nation as put food on their empty tables. The documentary is fairly straightforward, a series of interviews interspersed through the inventory of the famed team's history. But what it lacks for an innovation or creativity, it more than makes up for in an inspiring, heartfelt, earnest tale. And each of the team's five founding members are fully fleshed out protagonists. They are unique and united. Broken men, rebuilt. One example, Adrian, the figurehead of the team, lost 60 family members during the genocide. Each cyclist grew up in this harrowing time, and Rwanda's troubled past permeates the unfolding events, a phantom overshadowing the country. Rising from ashes parallels these flawed men in a flawed land, and as a parade of children trail the team in their handcrafted wooden bicycles, we see how much these men mean to Rwanda, and as Adrian crosses the finish line at the Olympics, I see how much these people had come to mean to me. In summation, Rising from Ashes, while at times conventional and safe, is never insipid. It's a powerful story of relatable characters with potent visuals and an impressive score. It's worthy of your time. Rising from Ashes is not rated. I believe it is an hour and 30 minutes long and you can currently watch it streaming on Netflix as well as iamflix, which is our first sponsor. I'd like to put out a thank you to iamflix and recommend them. They are a streaming service which is just getting off the ground and they're providing a wide variety of films to cater to a family audience so that you and your kids and grandma and grandpa and uncle and aunt can all watch movies together and not worry about content that you might not approve of. So if that's for you definitely check it out. That is iamflix, I-A-M-F-L-I-X dot com. Thanks for tuning in everyone and we'll see you next time.